Hello, my dear students. This lesson for year three, first term, lesson number five, which is talking about the parts of the plant. So we know that plants are living things, right? They need what? They need air, water, sunlight. Also, they need soil and nutrients to grow. So let me ask you a question. Can you remember what are the parts of the plant? Yes, we know that the first part of the plant is roots. So what is the function of the roots? Roots fix and anchor the plants in the soil. Also, it absorbs water and nutrients. So the second part is the stem. Stem do what? Stem supports leaves and the flower. Also, it transports the water and nutrients from the roots to the leaves. So look at this tree. General Sherman tree has the largest stem on the earth. So look to the size of this man comparing to the tree's stem. He looks so tiny. Why? Because General Sherman tree has the largest stem on the earth. The third part of the plant is leaves. Leaves absorb sunlight by its green color. But the question is, how can the leaves make the food for the plant? Well, leaves will mix water and nutrients from the soil. With what? With sunlight and air to make the food for the plant. What is the food for the plant at the end? Sugar. So the leaves will make sugar for the plant. So what are the parts of the leaf? The first part, leaf base. And then leaf stalk that will carry the leaf. Now veins because water and nutrients will move inside it. Tip the end of the leaf. These are the parts of the leaf. But all the leaves on the earth are the same? Of course not. We have different types of leaves. Entire, it means a little bit white and smooth. Serrated, it has a spiny shape from the sides. Lobed, it's divided into many parts. Simple, it's only one leaf, thin and smooth. Compound, the leaf will be divided into many leaves on the same branch. So this is all about leaves. Now the last part of the plant is the flower. Flower is the reproductive part. What's the meaning of reproductive? Because it makes seed. And the seed will grow to be a new plant. Like this sunflower, it gives seed to grow again. Well, that's all for the parts of the plant. Wait for more the next lesson. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to watch more videos from your lovely channel Science Words with Miss Dina.